All right, we have been joined by Marquette and Coach. We'll ask you to make an opening statement and take, we'll take questions for anyone up here at the dais. So, Coach. I thought Western Kentucky played with phenomenal aggressiveness in the first half. Uh, hats off to their team, the way that they competed and, and battled. Tyrone Marshall was terrific. Um, you know, fortunately, Tyler and Cam kept us afloat. You know, we were fortunate to only be down seven at the half. You know, these guys were able to make some plays. Uh, but in the second half, I think really to a man, our whole team ramped up our aggressiveness uh, on the defensive end, much, much uh, more Marquette basketball, flying around, getting our hands on the basketball. I believe we got eight kills. We did. Um, which is a huge goal of ours and um, not easy to do. Uh, so just grateful for the response. You know, we talk about building championship habits. One of the most important of those is the way we respond to adversity. And the guys did a great job of that today. Okay, questions please. Raise your hand, name and affiliation, and we'll take questions for a coach or the student athletes right here in front. Uh, ben Steele, Milwaukee Journal Center. Tyler, I think you hit your first two shots, but how long did it take you just to get your wind and, and feel like you were in the groove? Question for Tyler. I mean, I, I really haven't felt out of the groove at all. Um, even in practice, uh, the, the two days that I did uh, go full go, um, you know, it's basketball. I've been playing this game a long time. And once I, once I hit the floor, I mean, some, some obvious jitters because I haven't played since, I don't know, three, three weeks now. Um, but I think 37 minutes, most minutes in the game. So I thought, thought I did all right with the win. Questions, please, right here. Pat. Uh, Pat Forty from Sports Illustrated. Shaka, what did you get from Stevie Mitchell in the second half, especially defensively? Energy. I mean, just phenomenal energy. Get his hands on the basketball. You know, those swing plays that he makes where, you know, it's a deflection or he blows up an action. And then on the offensive end, he really make, gave us a, a big lift. You know, some offensive rebounds. He finds a way to get in there for some layups. Um, you know, and the three at the end didn't hurt. But I think overall, our whole team, Stevie, Jop, these two guys, um, Oso, they took it upon themselves to say, hey, that first half, it wasn't a violent enough approach from us on either end, and we were much better in the second half. Questions, please. Raise your hand. Right here in front. Here, uh, Ben Baby with ESPN. Shaka, what did y'all do differently for to Tyrone? I think he only had four on four shots in the second half. What adjustment did y'all make to kind of limit him from even getting shots up? Play harder. Try harder. Uh, you know, I just thought he was the aggressor. He was he was terrific with how aggressive he was in the first half. And you know, it, it's as as uh, fundamental as changing the look on our face. You know, when we're guarding him. Um, and we really challenged David Joplin and, and all of our guys, and I thought they did a nice job on him in the second half. He's a good player, and he's a, he's a downhill driver. When he made four threes in the first half, it's like, okay, we got to guard both. Um, but the guys are much, much more aggressive. Right here in front. Uh, Cam, I think your first three hit off the side of the backboard, but, I mean, you finished 10 for 16. Like, how did you uh, just get, get, get yourself going? Question for Cam. <clears throat> well, that first shot slipped. It slipped on my right hand, so I didn't really. I tried to push, and it was a bad hit. Yeah, and then that's why I came down on the second possession, um, and I thought for sure that was going in. But I mean, um, coach just did a good job of, like you said, um, you know, change the look on your face. And I feel like first half, um, me personally, I just I was too. I was a little tight, you know. I just really, really, really wanted to win, and I think that's good. But you got to find a way to channel it, and, and you know, have a clear mind. Questions, please, for coach or the student athletes, raise your hand again. Right here in front. Cam, when did you know that, you know, once you got Tyler back, when did it feel like, like the team was the old Marquette team again? Um, I mean, the first practice he came in, uh, he came in, just did what he do. I mean, it was, it was nothing unusual. You know, he came back in, got the ball, made the plays he normally makes, and we just did what we do. And, you know, we love to have him and, you know, grateful to have him back. Right here, Gary. Uh, Gary Graves, AP. 
Um, Cam, I guess the first half, you, you all went cold for a stretch. They, they, they rallied. How did you all kind of just stay focused on just you know, getting your shots and knowing that they would fall? Um, the reason why that was happening in the first half is because they were more aggressive than us. Um, you know, they were guarding us with a lot of aggression. They was pushing, grabbing. And, you know, um, we pretty much said at halftime, you know, well, coach told us before the, the second half started, the, most of, the more aggressive team going to win the game. And we really wanted to come out and, you know, be aggressive starting on defense. And that opened a lot of stuff up on offense. Right here. Uh, Tyler, in the second half, early second half, Stevie had that chase down steal, three-point play, block, I think drop, hit the game-tying layup. How much do you guys just feed off of Stevie's energy? Question for Tyler. Yeah, I tell him every time we come out, it starts with him. You know, he, he starts off with a deflection or a steal. You know, I even sit on the huddle. His energy on the defensive end it leads us to you know everything we want to do on the offensive end. So he's a major domino for us. Did you want Cam to respond to that too? Cam, uh, man, yeah, like I, um, I'm pretty sure it was you. I told we wouldn't be here without Stu, and uh, you know we need we need we need what he brings to the table every night, man. And uh, you know I. Like, like T said, you know, we, we try to make that known. Like, Stu, we need you to set the tone um, from, the first, from the first tip. Right over here. Yeah, Tyler, I think you had 10 of your 11 assists in the second half. Was there anything schematically that, that was a little bit different that enabled you to kind of be more of a creator and, and kind of get those looks and, and maybe be much of a scorer as well? Yeah, I, I came out aggressive. Uh, like Ben said, hit my first two shots. Uh, but they were good, doing a good job keeping me out of the paint. Um, and, you know, we kind of went away from – the one five ball screens because they were doing a good job hedging, getting out there, um, and we we're we we're going to you know more me and Cam playing in a two man game or playing on the side of the floor with another guard or a wing, uh, and they were struggling with that, keeping me out the paint. So we just just changed that up and, and we get to what we want to get to. Additional questions, please. No one. You look good back there, Scott. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I Thanks, coach.